Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome back to Fallout 4, The Mechanic. So, uh, we, we now have a mission, sort of. Uh, we're gonna go to what? Electronics! But first I'd like to check out... Check out the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Apparently I've reached level 4. You know what? It might be a good idea to actually level up. How does, how does that sound? Oh man, but what do I? It's, see, this is this is the tr this is the, the problem. I know what I what I want. I just don't know what I want to do first. Uh, we we absolutely want to go nuclear physicists, right? Uh, so so that we get more more life out of our fusion cores. Uh, we probably don't have to, have to prioritize robotics expert just yet, though it could be useful in hacking robots. And you know what? Maybe I might put a point into that. Uh, hang on, machines. Uh, so that. Uh, Hack a robot and gain a chance to power it on or off or initiate a self-destruct. Okay, that could be useful because I feel like going to the, the Polymer Labs or whatever, wherever we're going, um, or Watts Electronics, there might be robots hanging around. And this is absolutely going to be useful once we get into the Automatron DLC because that's loaded with very, very powerful robots. Um, so I've kind of just talked myself into that. I feel like maybe Scrounger, this is going to give us more... Ammunition. Ammunition isn't necessarily something we need. Like, yeah, we need it, but it's not like our main focus. Um, hidden wealth and find more bottle caps and containers. Uh, hang on, can we have a look at the next rank? Ammunition and containers. Bottle caps and containers. Yeah, okay, let's not focus on those because I want, I want bits. You know, I don't need bottle caps and I don't... Like, I do need ammunition, but I don't need it that badly. Um... So maybe I go gun nut. Um, scrapper is what I want actually. That's that's actually what I want. <laughs> that was the perk I was thinking of. Um, un you can salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminum, and copper when scrapping weapons and armor. That's that's so what I want. I cannot tell you how much I want that. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's go robotics expert. And we'll hold off on nuclear physicists for now because our power armor is a little ways away from being um, usable, you know, we'll say that. So what else do we want? Lone Wanderer, no, because we, we're taking companions with us. Uh, Black Widow could actually be could actually be useful, but again, I feel like that contradicts the roleplay because she's not, she's not like that, that, that sort of femme fatale, like, what do you call it? I'm, that's probably the wrong, wrong term. But she's not a, she's not a, a man-eater, basically. So, while that would be useful, I think I'm going to try and stay away from it for now. Um, armor will, armor will help us with the DLC and our power armor, but not just yet. Otherwise, probably strong back would be actually really useful. And is that it? Is that all we, uh, we could, we could up our resistances, but, uh, I don't think that's necessary yet. So we've basically, we've taken, um, utility perks, which might not be the smartest thing to do. Ah, don't do that. Smartest thing to do because, um, because we, early on it's, it's probably, it's probably a good idea to up your damage, but Whatever, I've done it now. So that's uh, that's the building right there. Let's let's crouch a little bit because I I feel like there might be super mutants hanging around. Oh no, the entrance is right here, so not a problem. I'm sure someone will have remembered or noticed why this popped up on our on our uh, Pip Boy map, but I'm I'm interested to to find out why if we do at all. All right. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question 1. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? 
<laughs> um, polymer synthesis. So that's like the construction of, uh, well, synthetic materials, right? Let, let's let's try and uh, let's try and charm our way in. Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? That's not right at all. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I guess. Please note that employee enthusiasm is factored into your yearly reviews. This is wild. Okay, I haven't been there before. Uh, been here before, rather clearly. I'm just hoping we don't. Something. Please get find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. Okay, this could be fun. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Please save all questions for after the tour of the facility. Okay, this could actually be useful in terms of getting some high-tech salvage. I'm hopeful at least. Does this robot want to walk any slower? Or float any slower? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready to shoot some things just in case. Apparently I can hack Molly. Uh, if it look, if it comes to that, I've I've got no problem doing it. But let's uh, let's just see where this goes for now. Hey, I found some mute fruit. So that might get us a couple caps, and hopefully some experience. Though I'm I'm not sure. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. Okay. Alright, where where are they going with this? Um The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Okay. I don't think hang on. Please enter the clean room. Can we can we go in without the suit? Because I don't think we actually got it. I have been instructed to Scanning inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to contamination detected. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the lab the until the pixel nucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project complete. lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research Scanning for contamination. Starting decontamination sequence. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination uh, sequence. Shit? <laughs> Okay, so maybe what are we gonna find in here? Um, like rad roaches or something? Open exterior clean room. System error. Okay, security lockdown. What about the exterior clean room? Okay. Or maybe robots. Might we might be finding uh, fighting robots. If that's the case, I'm really glad I took uh, robotics expert Erica's terminal, internal mail relay. I don't necessarily want to read all this stuff because I feel like it's going to be boring for you guys to watch. Um, mandatory overtime. I'll just skim over this. 
Uh, if you hear what sounds like tanks or gunfire. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, such a fine establishment back in the day. Unidentified sample 11317. Okay. Isotope sample? Impressive. Well, Radioactive isotope atomic sample back required. In the day. But still, not too shabby. So I imagine what we have to do here is find the right sample, so we need two more, and then we can access this terminal and maybe get out? Is that right? Oh shit, we got goals! Okay, okay. We've got how many goals? And a machine gun turret, but it looks like it's on my side? With any luck? I don't know, give me the other ghoul. Alright, alright. I suppose we'll hit the legs, so at least it won't come at us real quick. Just, oh shit! <laughs> Um, I'm out of, I'm out of, uh, the action points. Okay, luckily I've got Codsworth here with me. And he's gonna do what needs to be done. Not a problem. Okay. You know what? That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of zombies. I don't think I'm okay with this. We're probably gonna run out of ammo real quick, unless, uh... Unless we're able to find some in here. Feel free to give up at any time. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Uh, I will take the pull cue because I know I can make it into a weapon. Um, yeah, we may as well take all the things. Gold watch. I know that's useful for crafting certain things. Okay, so I suppose that makes sense. The, um, the scientists or whatnot. <laughs> Were, were probably mutated due to contamination. Dog tags. Okay, this probably is... Oh, if there's really. a use to that, I'll eat my hat. It seems there's some sort of relay or something. It seems like uh, it'll be useful. Hazmat suit. That's, you know what? That's probably useful. Um, battered clipboard. No, we want the, the unknown sample 3111. The blood pack. Test tube rack. Microscope. I know that's going to be useful. The metal bucket might be useful. At least for, well, metal. Vacuum tube yardstick. Feather duster. Why not? Why not? At least we're getting some bottle caps here. The thing, hang on, why do they have bottle caps? Because bottle, bottle caps are uh, uh, post-war currency. Wouldn't they have pre-war currency? Hey, let me in here, man. That's rads. Uh, let's, let's deposit the sample first. So it seems like it's not going to be uh, too difficult finding these samples. And throw in a quick save. Okay, so I suppose we'll be going up the stairs. And try to avoid the rads if, if at all possible. Doesn't look like it's at all possible. Oh, come on. Mom, Stop ratting me. Something's afoot. And that's how it's done. Am okay. Right, Mom? I'm glad Codsworth is here to, to, to tell me how it's done. Don't we, think I can pick this. No, we can't pick that. Okay, well, let's check the terminal. Alrighty, look for the brackets, baby. Tries reset, damn it. So maybe is it the the like the curved brackets that, that reset tries? Let's actually let's let's waste some and let's figure this out once and for all. No. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe it's just random. So we've so we've uh, gotten rid of one dud, two duds, three duds. Where's the rest? Four duds. Ah, uh, five. Any more? 
I, m I may miss some because I'm going quick on purpose. That looks like it should be one, but it's not. I think that is all of them. Oh, duh, hello. I should have used my eyes and realized that there was only one word left. That's it. <laughs> okay, internal mail relay. Okay, that's uh, safe control. Disengage lock. Okay. Wonder what's inside. Oh, there we go. Not many find the item, but I mean, it didn't didn't really take much to. Ooh, Nuka Cola. And the surgical scalpel, whatever. All right, cool. We found some stuff that we needed there. So, where to next? Um, that's not a, a place to go, but maybe up here. Away from the rads. Military grade duct tape. I wonder what that's like. I suppose it's just re just really sticky, eh? Bone cutter and yardstick. I feel like a bone cutter might be useful. What's all this then? Okay. That could have that could have been close. Be wary of fear old ghouls, mum. Stimpack. Right away. This is some good stuff. We'll get the, the coffee cup for the ceramic chemistry station. Bottle caps. Mentats. Can we, uh, can we chemist? To, to just like to get some experience or something? Okay, we can indeed make chems. What does it use up though? Buff out jet. Okay. Psycho. Psycho buff. You know what, let's give it a try. Uh, this gives us strength, endurance, and max health. Buff jet. Buff, buff jet. That's, that's sort of hard to say. <laughs> but let's do that. Uh, grenade. We can, we can actually make molotovs, but it requires adhesive, and we kind of need the adhesive. Ooh. Let's hold off on that for now. Uh, robot repair kit. Stim pack. You know what? Let's actually make stim packs. Yeah, that's a, that's going to be useful. Okay, this is good. This is good. I very rarely uh, bother with 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 cooking chems and whatnot. Bottle cap. No, don't sit down at the chair. Ah. Okay, so I suppose we're just, uh, we're just going upstairs. Let's throw in a saucy little quick save and, and sneak a bit. We in the air ducts or something? Can we, yeah, looks like we can get across. I'm, I'm getting that this is probably just a, a means to get to other rooms that are otherwise inaccessible. Um, that doesn't seem like the right one. I don't know. I don't know, guys. How do we get out of this place? Let's, let's try here. I mean, Codsworth has already fallen down in there. All right, that's, uh, that's that area. Good to know. This might be a little bit of trial and error. All right. Anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Don't you worry about that. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to gently caress that like button. It needs love like everything does. Taste the game, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.